This is one of my go-to recipes. We're going to start with the cake. So okay. yolks and butter just mix together. Beautiful. Easy? Easy. Easy. Okay. Next thing is uh, egg white mixed <laughs> with a little bit of sugar. We make a meringue. Egg and you make meringue. Easy. Still easy, okay? So when the meringue is done, that's what we get. And the two other ingredients than that going to be some almond flour. If you don't have almond flour, good cornstarch is not as good. And a little bit of breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs contain protein, like flour, but it's already baked, so it's a lot less elastic. So that's one of the reasons why I use that. That the, is so clever. The second thing mm. is... Um, I don't like baking powder and baking soda that give uh, acidity in your stomach mm -hmm. and, and heartburn. So by whipping the egg white, you don't need to put any baking right. powder. It, it, so that's the it only it reason. The I turn that, I don't make it too much, um, we mix it too much because you don't want the egg white no, you to don't collapse. Want to it. You want to mm. keep all those air bubbles because you don't have any baking powder you baking don't have soda. Right. So at, as soon as you see that it's pretty much mixed, then you can stop. And I put it usually on a cake ring. Why a cake ring? Mm. When you remove a cake from a pan, he can break. With a ring, mm. nothing breaks. No, you don't even have, That's right. you don't have to put any, um, any oil or any butter, anything. You just put your butter on the Isn't middle. Isn't that great? Like, aren't you learning so much? It really is it's fascinating. So the cake go in the oven yeah. for about 30 to 40 minutes, 350. 325, 350. Then when the cake is cooked, I usually do that the day before. And I also make, uh, mix some cream. And this is day before also? The day before also. Cream and chocolate. So the cream go to a, 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 almost, almost boiled. And then you put the chocolate. You mix it very well. And when everything is mixed and you don't have any lumps, put that on the bowl and leave it until the next day in the refrigerator with your cake. So now we are the next day. Hello, good morning, how are you doing? Good morning! <laughs> so nice to see you. Nothing says good morning like delicious chocolate and cream. So I have some uh, cho the cream that stay all night in the refrigerator is there. This and, is so brilliant. And you're going Seriously. to see how fast, how fast that go. In a question of seconds, the cream is ready. And this is the best cream to make quenelle. Beautiful. So that's it, it's almost ready, and it is ready. You see how fast it is? Okay. I uh, know! So, we're almost done with the cake, do you believe that? Okay, and so... And the cake is just beautiful, the consistency of it, you can see all the beautiful air bubbles in it, and it's, it, it's just gorgeous. So beautiful. what what I did here, um, I mixed the cream, and what you can do, you can decorate with a piping bag, or if you like to make what we call quenelle, let's see, you need really hot water for that, and then you make a little quenelle, and you can put it, you can put the quenelle on top of the cake, and I'm going to decorate with a piping bag. This is a, a special tip, it's a tip with, Oh, let me see, let me cut that again a little bit further. It's a, it's a round tip, but it has a little opening on the side. And what we do, we just pipe it this way. Okay, here we go. So you just put that like that, and you Gorgeous. pipe it this way. And you just go around, mm. and that's go pretty fast when you start to get the movements. And then you keep going all the way around, and you, you keep doing that two or three times, all the way to the center. I know, I know. <laughs> you see Do you hear how... them? Like, ah. <laughs> and I guarantee you put your finger into this cream, this stuff is so good. <laughs> My kids will be here, they will love that. Okay, so you can leave it like that, it's fine. You can take some chocolates and, and with a, a paring knife, you can do some shaving of chocolates, a little powder sugar, but and you're done. This? Come on, no, that's, that's a little bit. That's a little bit Come different. Come on! What? <laughs> so actually, let me tell you what I did here. I take a, a sheet of plastic, it's called acetate paper, mm -hmm. and then I take a spoon and I do some little dollop of uh -huh. chocolates, put a second acetate paper on top, make it flat, and roll it. Put it in the refrigerator. When it. you unroll it, you get the, you get the, the chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. That's it. <laughs> And don't forget, Nailed It is now also in book form.